السلام علیکم فرینڈز ویلکم بیک ٹو سیول انجینئرز یوٹیوب چینل وتھ دی نیو لیکچر ڈیر فرینڈز ان دس ویڈیو لیکچر وی ار گوئنگ ٹو ڈسکس اباؤٹ ٹپس فار ڈیزائن اف ار سی سی بیم سو ان دس ویڈیو یو ار ایبل ٹو لرن ہاؤ ٹو فائنڈ سائز اف بیم مینز ڈیپتھ اف بیم اینڈ بریتھ اف بیم آلسو اماؤنٹ اف اسٹیل فار ڈفرنٹ ار سی سی اسٹرکچر اینڈ تھرڈ نمبر اف اسٹرپس ان دس بیم سو If this video is helpful for you, so must like this video. Or if this video is not helpful for you, so you can dislike this video. And remember, accept my one request. If you are new on this YouTube channel, so must subscribe this channel. And there is a bell icon near with subscribe button. Red subscribe button. Press that bell icon, then you will get notification about any video. So let's get start. Tips for design of RCC beam. So first step, or in first step. I will show you how to find size of beam means depth of beam and also breadth of beam. So formula to find depth of beam. Minimum depth is equal D. Depth of beam is equal L divided by 16. L is a length of beam. This is the long section for beam which length is 5 meter. So I will find depth of beam for 5 meter length RCC beam. So you can use formula L divided by 16. So L is a length of beam. So I can write here 5 meter length of beam divided by 16. So we can get with this formula depth of beam. Depth of beam. So is equal. It will give us 0.31 meter. So say 30 centimeter. Okay, 31 centimeter, but say 30 centimeter. So we can get the depth of beam with this formula, which become thirty centimeter. Right now, formula to find breadth of beam. So B is equal D divided by one point five. So already D is a thirty centimeter. This one, okay. Thirty divided by one point five. It will come. 20 cm so breadth should be here for 5 meter length length of beam we need breadth of beam 20 cm so with this formula we can find size of beam right if the length is 5 meter if the length is more so you can just use this formula and this we can get from I is code. Okay, Indian standard code, right? So, and second tip, you can learn amount of steel for different structure. So, maximum percentage of steel is per I is code. So, for beam, four percent of X section mean cross section area. For slab, four percent of cross sectional area and for column 6% of x section cross section area so we have to find amount of steel for this beam so already area of steel should be area of steel sorry area of column area of column which is 30 multiply 20 so it will come 600 cm square this is area of this beam right so we can find out area of steel for this beam and area of the beam is here 600 cm square so find area amount of steel for this beam 0.04 because it's 4% right multiply of cross sectional area cross sectional area of this beam is 600 cm square so we need amount of steel here when you multiply 0.04 multiply 600 so it will give us 24 cm square so this is the amount of steel for this beam
with IS coat, Indian standard coat. So in third tips you can learn number of stirrups for this beam. So how we can find number of stirrups? This is already length of length of beam so we need to find number of stirrups how much numbers of stirrups are required so this is formula length of member so length of member is member is already here 5 meter right so 5 meter subtract 2 covers so this is concrete cover so here we have concrete cover right here concrete cover and here so suppose we have to take concrete cover 25 mm suppose so 2 multiply 25 right so it will come 50 and divide by spacing divide by spacing suppose I say I need spacing between two stirrup 30 centimeter 30 centimeter right so right here 30 centimeter so 30 centimeter in foot it will come sorry in meter it will come 0 0.3 plus 1 okay so you can find number of stirrups with this formula length of member subtract to multiply cover one side cover concrete cover and other side concrete cover and divide by spacing plus one so these are the useful tips for design of RCC beam so if you have any question about this video so just comments I will try to reply your answer but don't forget to like this video as if this video is helpful for you thanks for watching see you in next video bye bye